Hello and welcome to a discussion about watches. Yay! Somebody's out there's facepalm. Oh no, he's at it again. You are looking at a West Clocks Pocket Ben and a little Seiko 5 wristwatch. They're both mechanical movement, so no batteries, very environmentally friendly. This one's automatic, this one's manual wind. This one has an interesting story behind it. You can see plastic crystal right here. This one actually has a mineral glass crystal, not anything special, nothing to write home about, but very different. But there is some parallels between these and the poker chips. The first one is, is that these have a heartbeat and a soul. Listen to this. Uh, you know, I'm not sure you'll be able to hear that. Let me try this one. This one might have a little bit of a heartbeat too. Again, not sure you'll be able to hear that. No, I'm kidding. It's, the poker chips don't have a heartbeat, but there are some parallels that I'm going to draw later in the video. My parents, grandparents would call this a dollar pocket watch. Very disposable. So now... You're looking at some Faro poker chips. These are available at apachepokerchips.com. And as usual, we always like to evaluate the chip. And we're going to do that by starting out with measuring the weight, width, and thickness and compare differences. So what we're really looking for is a noticeable difference. So if the thickness is like way off, it makes it really obnoxious. You can see the ones might be the tiniest bit thinner than the 25s here. and it's not the end of the world, but it might be enough to <laughs> knock something off if you're trying to cut some chips or something. Either way, it's not terrible. It's very average for the segment. You know, the weight, you can tell from the weight, if you've been around a lot of poker chips, that there is no metal insert. Obviously, the edge spots are trying to mimic Las Vegas Paulson style chips and you can tell because they're not perfect they're supposed to be little triangles mimicking pyramids but instead of triangles sometimes here we get things like these it's like look at that that's not a pyramid it's like pyramid of Giza pyramid of Giza Mount Kilimanjaro it's just this weird shape right there some more little volcanic looking things here here's an interesting one see I love character like this on a chip some of you may not but I love it this is my style anyway so th that affects quality control uh, you can rate them differently than I rate them if you want and of course you know we always talk about inlays too I found one with a skewampus inlay oh here it is right here and you know I can take a razor and I can act like an exacto knife and fix this but I didn't because I wanted to show you I have 150 of these and only one inlay was slightly skewed here so the Pharaoh's overall quality control, very average across the board. That's what you're going to be looking at with any China clay. Now we're talking about design. Now this is where these really shine, the design. Yay. If you look closely, you'll be able to see a little ghost phoenix down here underneath the denomination. Oh, sorry, dollar sign. Some of you in the Eurozone, in Great Britain, unfortunately, I don't know why designers continue to insist on putting these dollar signs here. Just leave us the number, but whatever. So that's an issue. I don't know what the kind of currency they use in Egypt. I'm not, I'm never, I'm not a huge traveler. So sorry, I don't know. But yeah, so it's very uh, Egyptian and themed. You can see we have the Sphinx here. We have some pyramids up here. We have, what is this, Iron Man or something? The Wright brothers before their little airplane. I don't know what that is. I'm like I said, I'm not a historian. I'm not an Egyptologist, whatever the word is. But when we're looking at the the uh, inlays, they are sticker inlays, and there is a progression on them, which is actually kind of nice. And then we actually move to the chip itself, and there's also progressions here. So you can see the pyramids here, and then it moves to some traditional edge spots here, and then four edge spots here. It's it progresses. It's a lovely progression. The stamping is also interesting, and this is worth noting. I love this. So you can see the little hieroglyph right here, the exact same one down here. And then when you flip it over, it's different. No way. So there's actually the heads and the tails on each and every one of these poker chips. That made me super happy. So the progressions, just the interesting stamping you have right here make this a very interesting set so you can see a ton of effort has been put into the design of these chips uh, i have to say these are above average 
when you're talking about the design of a china clay poker chip. Next is something that I'm not going to spend too much time on. We've really beat this dead horse with the china clay material. It is a china clay material. Okay, so it's going to be kind of coarse, kind of chalky, again, mimicking very much the real casino style chips. These are, you know, Paulson made in Mexico, lovely chips. The Pharaoh, the China clay material is mimicking that. And my experience is, you know, it's pretty durable. Let's try to break one on camera. I always do this. All right, that's not breaking. Let's try a different denomination here. Let's try a five. Let's try to find a weak point here. All right, yeah, that's not breaking. So pretty durable. I'm, I've never had a problem with China clays. Definitely the weak link in this set are the inlays. They're plastic inlays glued in, and if you chew on them long enough, they will come off, right? So some food for thought. So materials and durability, very average. Now we're going to bring it back here to competitive options and a sound test here at the end. Competitive options. Now this is where the Milanos come in and the watches come back in. Oh dear, here he goes with a pretty obvious analogy. Okay, this watch is not from my grandparents' house. My grandparents had multiple dollar pocket watches and a couple of them were West Clock's pocket bends. They threw those in their toy chest so the grandkids could play with those. They had they were broken, the crystal was missing, they were long, long gone when when I actually found them. Okay, we'd pretend they were stopwatches, we would pretend they were spaceships, we would do all sorts of fun things with these little pocket watches. Okay, so for me, happy memories. This Seiko is just a dress watch. Occasionally, you know, I feel like putting on a watch, I'll put on one of my watches you know, with a suit and go out on, you know, in the city. So, you know, this is a great, I should say a very reasonable watch and much more sophisticated than this one. Even back when this watch was made in the fifties, I mean, they had jewels, they had automatic movements, they had all sorts of interesting things, but this doesn't have any of that. This has like no technology. You open this up there, it's just really, really basic. Whereas this has 21 jewels, an automatic movement, you know, they, they at least made an effort with this Seiko. Now, the reason why I'm talking about that is because like poker chips, I would never recommend anybody get this. I don't think this has any collector value. So what would I recommend to people? If somebody came out to me and said, hey, I'm on a watch, I would point them more towards the Seiko direction than the antique West Clock's dollar pocket watch direction. Does that make sense? Now, that's a little bit similar to, similar, not the same, <laughs> to the poker chip world. The pharaohs are found in one place. There's one store online called Apache Poker Chips that sells these chips. The Milanos are sold all over. You can get these on Amazon. You can get these almost on any poker chip dealer website. They're just everywhere. They're ubiquitous, right? So if I want to recommend to 500 million people, is my viewership that good, that, oh, look, there's a little color difference here in Milanos. Can you see that? See how there's a fading right here? Isn't that interesting? I don't remember which one of these I bought first. I, I'm sorry, I got so many chips and I just can't tell you. But that's why you should order all your chips at once. Instead of, oh, well, I need a thousand chips, I'll order 200 now, 200 next year, and the 200, you know, the year after, and 200. Yeah, don't do that. Just buy them all at once. So like the pocket watch here, the Pharaohs are more of a, you know, your taste kind of a thing, whereas the Seiko, Whereas the Milanos, I should say, are more like the Seiko, just a mass-produced, beautiful thing that does its job nicely. That's what the Milanos are. These are great, and I highly recommend them. And that's still, to this day, my recommendation. But now, let's get the watches and the Milanos out here and out of here, and let's make another, let's have another discussion. Oh dear, where's he going with this? Which one do you think I prefer, the Pharaohs or the Majestics? Yes, the Pharaohs check off so many of those little boxes, but... I like the Majestics more. They're more my personality. They're bold. They're bright. They have a high contrast. I love the Majestics more than the Pharaohs. Just my preference. So again, it comes down to in the China clay market, absolutely get which one you want. Whichever poker chip you like the look of the most, get those. And lots of times what I represent here is not 
inclusive of what you may be purchasing. You may be buying high denominations from 25 up to 10,000, where I'm showing you the ones and the fives that might not even matter to you. So uh, get online, look at the uh, available chips and be sure they're available before you make your plans and then you can order some. And if you need to order a sample set. So let's do a sound test here real quick. I'm trying to plow through this. Uh, let's do something different than this. Let's roll in some Nile Club. Look, my three-year-old chipped this chip. He took it through. He took the whole rack of them, this right here, and uh, he just pulled that off the poker table and threw. He just hurls it across the room, and one of them chipped, but the rest of them didn't. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know what this hit that made it chip like that. Either way, it was interesting. So we'll roll in some ceramics. We'll throw in the real Vegas poker chips. We'll throw in some next gen material. These are this review is pending. This Pharaoh's review was pending as well. I was gonna do it in early 2017, but I listened to my viewers and they wanted it sooner, so I uh, changed my schedule around a little bit. Uh, let's make these similar stack heights here. Uh, whatever, I'm not terribly worried about it. We'll throw in some really cheap chips. Do I have metal insert chips? Those, but I'll throw these in as well. All right, sound test here. Pharaoh's first. Nile Club Ceramic. These are the real casino chips. Followed by the Monte Carlo metal insert chips. These are substantially more heavy. The cheap Walmart purchased dice chips. And finally, the China Clay. I need to stop here. These are the China Clay. These are the next gen material. These are called the Pioneer Club. All right. So there you have it, the Pharaohs. Let me have a look here. Throw some of these out. The ones, the fives, the 25s. Like I said, I have 150 of these. They've been really good. I really like them. It's just I like they. He, the Apache poker, Apache poker Chips came out with these chips, these majestic chips, right around the time I was about to buy a lot more of these Pharaohs and they kind of ruined it for me. So I'm probably gonna end up buying these Majestics. I think I've said that before. It's just, I get so busy with life and work and family and everything. That just takes a little while for me to sit down and get everything squared away exactly what I'm looking for. Considering I have so many chips, should I make a state of collection, state of the collection video? Do you guys wanna see everything that I have? It might be pretty boring, but eh, I would be happy to make that for you. Leave a comment. Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching and all of your support. I wouldn't be here without you guys.